Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at another Venture RV. This one is a standard sport track that's great for families and at a more affordable price point. This is a 2022 Venture RV Sport Track Model 333 VIK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about the Sport Track and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again today. I'm super excited to be showing you a normal sport trek again guys We do apologize for all the venture RVs But we are here in coal rain and we want to show this one to you and it's gonna be different from the sport trek touring editions That you guys already saw but before I begin let's say hi to Jen. Hey Jen Hey, hey we want to thank everybody who didn't unsubscribe from our John Cena episode. Yeah, apologies guys, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how are you? I'm good, I'm out here in the sun today enjoying it and we're here at um, Coleraine Family RV in Cincinnati. So they've been very welcoming and we're hitting a bunch of Venture RVs because we haven't seen any in a while. In a very long time, Jen, I mean years. Yep. So really excited to see this one. Let's begin. Model is Sport Trek 331 VIK. The actual tip tip length is 37 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 8,690 pounds and the hitch weight is 1,080 pounds. Jen, this is no joke. This is not half ton towable. Now, don't get me wrong, there's gonna be somebody that says, Well, I got the EcoBoost for it. Like, okay, m maybe you can tow it. We recommend a three quarter ton and up on a beast this big. Yep. Right over here, we do got a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go there and your batteries go there. And remember guys, that's just dry weight. That's not including when you load it up. Yep. Right up here, we do have a nice molded front cap. Um, pro black diamond plate rock guard here. And then this is something that I want you to notice. You're gonna see little things like this. Like it's not a full cap that caps over, um, like the touring edition. That's some of the higher end features on the touring. This one doesn't do that. Right over here, we do got very nice passenger storage, held up by a magnet right there and manual stabilizing jacks. Again, not electric. This one's ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 cheaper than a touring edition. Coming on down the side here, we do got TV hookup right here, power, coax, a TV backer, nice power awning with LED lights, and look at this fiberglass. So this is just like the twilight with that dyed fiberglass here. Makes it two tones, it makes it look better. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's almost like paint. Coming on down the side here, we do got the Morai Steps. Venture RV beer opener right here. Psh, America. John Cena. <laughs> Very nice. And then we do got the Weather Shield heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. Jen, if you don't mind walking through, don't All break right. your legs. A little tight here, guys. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Second door back here. Yes. And then back here, before we look at that second door, look at those tires, Jim. They're the Goodyears. They are the ST225-75R15. And yes, Jen, as you said, there is a second door back here. There's also a second bathroom back here in a travel trailer. This has bunk beds and bath and a half. Now, it does have these fold-up aluminum steps, which we're not a huge fan of. But again, it's the second entry, so it's a-okay. Yeah. So check this out. That's also a Sport Trek bunkhouse. Which, now looking at it, we probably should have done that one because it would have been easier to walk by. But Jen, the reason why I wanted to do this one is because this one has a kitchen island. It's Ooh. even nicer. And then check this out. Not only are you getting the kitchen island, you're getting a big, full-size wow. exterior. Oh my, my God! Too. John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> I had to. It was the double fridge. Right. John Cena would like double fridges. Man, <laughs> look at that. That is awesome. This is like a tailgating machine. Yes, sir. Very nice. Nice little sink there. Elite little griddle cooktop. Jen, I'm the one who said enough with the John Cena's. Right. And I'm going to pull it you. out. Look at me. This is incredible, though. Yeah. I, I think I've, I, this is the first I've ever seen two fridges on an outdoor kitchen. Yes. Right here we do got the bumper that you cannot step on. Uh, 
250 pound hitch you cannot tow behind this trailer you cannot tow behind this trailer that is good for bike racks you got your water heater right there black tank flush and it is prepped for a furion backup camera there perfect coming around 50 amp service right there other side of the uh storage and then look at these slide outs yeah. i mean you, you literally got nothing going on here i mean you got that's where you're dumping one of your tanks Okay. I mean, all that's going to be a pain in the butt if you're dumping it with the slide outs right. out. It just is what it is, Jen. But you know what? I mean, it's you're getting inside. you're getting huge amounts of stuff on the inside. Yep. Here's your other sewer connection underneath there. Okay. And then over here, your another black tank flush docking station. And then this is the other side of that storage. Very nice. Well, Jen, the outside of the sport trek looks great, but the inside does look better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, guys. See the lights on there. Oh, yes. Walk through. I'll get them on. Okay. While Matt's getting the lights on, we come to the front first. Got your front bedroom up here. bathroom in the middle here's your living area and kitchen and then all the way back is your bunk room wow matt's rv reviews is proudly sponsored by lipper did you guys know lipper does so much more than axles and chassis they actually make a whole bunch of rv lifestyle aftermarket products i have three chairs that i want to show you guys today the first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair this chair you can lean all the way back you can relax it you can you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. That's where we want to start first, Jen. All right. Here we go now. Come on in, guys. This is a huge bunk room back here. Very nice. So you have really three designated sleeping areas. Now, the nice thing is this does fold up. Yep. So during the day, the kids can sit on the couch here, play cards, chill and everything. And that does jackknife down to make a fourth yep. sleep area. I like how they give you the table and then, oh look, so a little like desk for the kids. Yeah. That's actually really cool because I think more families are going full time and kids are doing homeschool and stuff. Um, and then you do have some storage in here. Yes. Down there as well. And you do have a TV back there if you want to put a TV in here. Yes, very, oh Jen. You tap something and the lights are working again. Oh. Don't re tap, tap it. On, tap, on. <laughs> tap, tap, tap air. Very nice. And then you got a drawer right there. Oh, I missed that. Yes, ma'am. All right. And then around the bend. Sure what the sure. heck? Oh, the bathroom. You get to it on that side. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, like, I know I <laughs> saw a door. Okay, very unique. So coming on in through, we go this way. And then, Jen, look at that half bath. That's absolutely fantabulous. That is. And it's kind of crazy how it leads in this way. I've never, I've right. never, never ever seen this. And guess what? I like seeing stuff that I've never seen. Right here, we got this, this, we got that. Nice little sink here. All right, let's see. Porcelain. Jen, I could fail this. And if it was a fifth wheel, I would fail this. But because we're in, oh. Oh, okay. Because we are in a travel trailer that's bath and a half, this is a prime poop position. Bing! This is absolutely really incredible. Nice. Great job, Venture. And then, Jen, might as well continue with the kitchen here. All right. So we got a Fury on microwave up here. Your your okay. head just blocked the whole thing. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, Fury on microwave. Sorry, guys. You make Jen, you make a better door than a window. <laughs> Hood range. We got the Venture RV cutting board. Yes. It doubles as artwork. 
And then Furion three burner cooktop and oven. Very nice. Got another drawer down here. All right. Nice bit of counter top here. Some storage down below. And then another cabinet up here. Very nice. And then over here we got your Furion two-way fridge. Okay. All right. Very nice. And then over here on the island, nice big sink with a pull-down faucet. Lots more storage underneath the sink. And then they gave you a little soap dispenser and three drawers here. Very nice. And then one more thing over here, Matt, is this little like coffee bar. Yeah, that's station. perfect for coffee. It really is. Like that's all you need for your little espresso. Put your little K-cups in there. Yeah. K-cups nice. or, or Nespresso? I like Nespresso and so does Andrea. Oh, well. Leave a comment down below. Do you like K cups or do you like Nespresso? <laughs> and then what's that oh, over yeah. there? Looks like we got a little pantry over here. Or a coat rack. Oh yeah, coat, coat rack. rack. Okay. Coat rack. Very nice. Very nice. And then over here in the dinette, again, Venture RV. It looks like they're doing this dinette in the Stratus Sport Trek, Sport Trek Touring Edition. It is a nice live age style, live edge style. It drops down to make a bed. We do got nice valances and everything. And then Jen, how do you like these valances? Mm, net neutral. Net neutral. Okay, just like the last yep. three sport tricks <laughs> that we did. No, one failed. Okay, right here we do got storage underneath, just like yeah. that. Same thing over here. Yes, ma'am. And then over here is my favorite Thomas Paint collection. But first, storage above. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Storage right here. Very yes. nice. I make a better door than a window too. <laughs> you know, somebody's gonna comment. Matt, you shouldn't say that Jen looks like a better door than a window. <laughs> How rude. How rude. Right here, we do got uh, nice Thomas Paine theater seats. The two and a half seater right there. So if you have a little fur baby, they can sit there. Or if you just wanna be by yourself, you can do that. You got your cup holder and a prism of power right there. Very nice. Then you got a great looking view of the TV. Sansui right there. There is a little bit of storage right over here. Very nice. And you got the Inno Fame fireplace right there. And then this is not real wood. This is just wallpaper. Yeah. I like it. Then coming on in here. Oh, no. Uh oh. Womp, 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 womp. How disappointing. Because they were on a roll with the bathrooms. Right. All right. I'll Radius step shower. Inside. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a pretty good size radius shower. Yeah, the height is really good, but... but at the end of the day, it's radius. Yeah. Are you passing that? No, oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Over here, we do got the nice medicine cabinet. Nice little sink area. Very nice. And then, Miss Jen. Okay. Might be a radius shower, but Jen, there is no doubt about it. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. And then if you would like to enter the bedroom that way, All right. I will enter it through the other door. Very nice. Very nice bedroom, north to south, something that we haven't seen in the Sport Trek line yet. No slide out in this bedroom. We got storage right here, storage above. Nice. Same on that side. More closed storage here. Yep, USB lights. Little cubbies back there. I still love that front windshield. Yeah. Uh, right behind your head there, Miss Jen, is where they do have the TV backer. Okay. And then let's see if there is storage. Nice. There is. There is a ton of storage underneath the bed. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time that we give you three things we love about the Sport Trek, three things we just don't like about it. Jen, what do we do with first? Let's do likes first this time likes first okay if you don't mind i'd like to go first only because i'm in here okay love that front windshield yep there's not a thing anybody can do that will ever take away my love for that front windshield i love it if you don't want it put the blind down just adds in so much more natural light and i like being able to look out to the front of my campsite or whatever to see what's going on there yep. see if there's any spooky clowns or something mm -hmm. that is like number one jen like number two All right, I'm gonna go to the very back. Talk to me. This bunk room area is really, really nice. I love how much space you have in here if you're traveling with um, kids. They have you know their own table, they have their desk to work, lots of sleeping and hanging out space. 
Um, so they did a really good job on this bunk room. I concur. Jen, number three has to be that outside kitchen. No doubt oh, about yeah. it, they killed it. Double fridge, sink, cooktop, big full-size fridge and travel show like that. We absolutely love that. Well, Jen, that's three things we love about it. Now, it's time for three things that we don't like about this unit. Okay, I can give you one. Talk to me. All right. Um, well, they did do a good job with that bathroom back there. I was not happy with having a radius shower in here. Womp, kind womp. of a tight bathroom for the, the paying customers. Okay. So, yeah, that's my first dislike. I can concur. Jen, number two, here's what I'm going to say. This is just a two-seater out here in the living room. And truthfully, if you're buying this unit, you have a big family. You're not fitting in that dinette anyway. They should just eliminate this and just make this one long True. sofa. You know what I'm saying? Because the kids can sit in there with that table in there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, just one long sofa. You're not eating here, especially if you have a family. It's just You're eating outside with that epic outside kitchen. Yep. So that's number two. And then, Jen, do you have a number third? Because I do if you don't. Okay, you go. Manual stabilizing jacks. Yep. You know, don't get me wrong. This is a lot less expensive than the Touring Edition, but it's still an expensive camper. I want. I don't want to crank nothing. I just want to push a button and let it do all the work for me. Yep. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this unit here is $68,727. Jen, that is MSRP. Sale price, this is a new unit, so there's actually no sale price on the website, but if we can find a sale price, we will actually link it right here. And what did I say the MSRP was? I forget already. 68. Yeah, so this is really only like $8,000 cheaper than the Touring Edition. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, still very nice, still very high end. That just makes me double verify that I want electric stabilizing yeah. jacks. But again, Jen, it doesn't matter if you want this unit or the Touring Edition. We are part of RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. We promise that we will always get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire RV industry. All you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact tab, and we're here for you to take care of you, uh, and you get to work with somebody from our team. Jen, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments that what you like about this sport truck and what you don't like. Um, we're really excited that we got to review a couple Venture RVs when we were here because we haven't seen them in a long time. And thank you so much to Coleraine RV for having us here. We've really experienced some hospitality. We've been dealer docking here and it's been a great time. Thank you absolutely everybody at Coleraine and everybody for watching. And Jen, we'll, we'll see you next, next time. time.